Welcome web developers. Jimmy here. I wanted to talk a little bit about using WordPress to make web content without actually writing any HTML. I have logged into Peak of All Peace using my username. Of course, I count as an administrator. Everyone else will be listed as an editor. Um, and I want to talk about how you can actually do this, how the All About Me page, which ultimately will also be where you keep all of your, a link to all of the assignments you create, how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is click Add New up here under Pages. You can see over here I've logged in and now there's a menu on the left hand side. You'll see Pages, you click Add New and it brings up a page where you can type in a title. Now this will be the uh, title that shows up on the, the top of the browser, uh, the, either your tab or the window. So this is the title that goes in the title bar. And it will also be a link in a menu, which I'll show you what I mean in a moment. And it'll be what uh, people see when they, if they were looking at a list of pages, of course, that would be the title. Now this is meant to be a what you see is what you get sort of editor. Even though it's not Microsoft Word or Google Docs, it does have a bunch of graphical WYSIWYG tools. So bold, italics, strike through bulleted lists, quotes, links. Uh, there even are some things that are specific to blogging uh, interfaces like click here to read more and there's a spell check. And if you want to add images, you're gonna need to know where those images are, but you'll do it from this button here that says add media. So I'm going to actually not mess with this page. Oh, there is one more thing I wanna say. In order to make this thing work correctly, over here under page attributes, I want everyone to select under parent the menu that's labeled for your particular semester. So this is summer 2014, so you should select that as your parent. And then go ahead and add your content. And when you hit publish, this page will be listed here under parent, but you'll notice that I've added a password to it, which you'll find in your email. I'll make sure to put that in an announcement so you can know what that password is. Uh, just a little tiny added level of security. It's not incredibly robust, but it's better than nothing. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this page away that I made. I want to demonstrate from the page that I've already created how you can add some graphics and links and things like that. So you'll notice that here, all about me dash Jimmy Newland. So I chose the name. It's up to you to call it what you'd like. You'll notice that uh, as people add their pages, they'll some people will use all about me dash their name, some people won't. It's up to you. I'm going to click the edit button, which opens up for this page that already exists. You'll notice the dash right there because it's part of this, uh, the parent of summer 2014. So that's what that dash means. So when I hit edit, you notice it opens it up in the, the WYSIWYG editor. As you go from one area to another, you'll notice that they, whatever HTML tag you're actually working with and the uh, WordPress system takes care of the, the tags for you. You'll notice that it'll tell you down here, you're in a paragraph, you're in an H1, you're in a block quote, you're in a list. It'll also tell you when it was last edited, and I'm not sure if this is a huge deal, but there is a, uh, a word count down there, and you can edit some of the other features uh, that are a little bit more detailed. One of the things you can do is if you need to get at the individual HTML tags, you can click text tab up there. You can also hit this button here and work in uh, full screen WYSIWYG mode. I wanted to talk about how to add a photo though. So I'm gonna do this two ways. First, I'm gonna click add media and you'll notice once this loads all the graphics, any media that any editor, which you guys are, has uh, uploaded, shows up in the media library. I have an image that I used before. This is from when I went to Big Bend in Alpine. And I'm gonna click it and just hit insert. I'm not gonna even change any of the options. And you'll notice that it shows up there. And then I can click underneath it and say, uh, this image is from Alpine, Texas. There, that's one way to do it. You can also click the add media and I'm gonna go to the tab over here that says upload files and I've got over here a picture that I'm gonna drag. Let it upload, you'll notice that now it's gonna be in the media library and eventually it actually shows up, I hope. And, and these graphics do uh, stay in the database. So if you wanted to use them again, you could. Notice that there are some settings over here for alignment link to which means if someone clicks on it it actually shows them the graphic or you can go to a different URL you can change the size I'm gonna leave everything exactly the way as it was by default and just hit OK and there's a fairly famous image 
of an astronaut actually on an EVA. You can tell from the uh, red stripes on this person's uh, uniform that this is a uh, the mission commander. They don't, um, obviously we don't have a shuttle program anymore, but NASA doesn't use these EVA suits any longer anyway. Okay, yeah, that was pretty nerdy. What are you going to do? Anyway, now when I hit update, instead of publish, since this page already exists, it'll be uh, already there, so all I have to do is hit update. Eventually, the browser and the web server and the databases all talk to one another, and this page will show page updated. And if I click view page, then it will take me to a page where I can type in the password, which again, you'll find... Uh, I've already typed it in so it knows that I'm here, but you'll find that in the um, in an announcement which will be coming soon. Um, I have left in place all of the WordPress features so that we can fiddle around with things like comments and blogging and pages and communicating within the WordPress system so that you know how it works. And my expectation is that from now on, your first assignment of, is of course to make this page. Then you are to go to Code Academy and work your way through the first uh, course in the uh, web design track. But as we make uh, assignments and create HTML files and FTP them up to the server, I want you to come back to this page and add links. So you'll have a, a bulleted list with a link to each assignment you've been asked to make. And that does include the HTML that you will write from Code Academy. When you're done with those CAD Code Academy assignments, at the very end of that, I want you to take the HTML that's inside the Code Academy uh, browser window, save it to an HTML file, and upload it. So that's not an immediate concern that ha that is you know kind of coming soon. For now, though, I really want you to just be comfortable working with WordPress to uh, create content and um, understand what it, what it is to be a manager on a content management system like this. I think in the end, you'll notice that this is the most common kind of web development. HTML is, of course, a key. Learning how to program is very useful, but working with content management is sort of the bread and butter for most web designers. Okay, good luck making your All About Me page, and remember it's supposed to be your ePortfolio throughout the entire term.